Ain't about your bread, then I can't fuck with y'all. I thought you was a honey, but you show me 50. That's parked outside, that bitch looks so expensive. I bet it cut your eye, huh? Hey, bro, we got Polar Boy Nunu now. I don't know who this dude is. I ain't never heard of Polar Boy Nunu. But this interview is called What Does a Gunshot Feel Like? Saying that he survived two shootings. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, bro, we just finna listen to his story and shit. Get to know this dude. But, yeah, if y'all don't know, bro, I post 30 videos a day and I'm trying to hit 3K subs. No cap. Let's hop into the vid. The biggest obstacle you faced in your life so far that you were able to overcome, and how did you do it? She, she going to jail, being away from my, being that far away from my family for so long, and not being able to really see none of my people, get no visits or none of that shit from none of my whole bit. And we've talked about some of that before, previously in this interview. But what about this? Have you been shot by a gun before? Yeah. Is that something we could talk about? Yeah, I ain't sure. I got shot twice. I'm still here. Uh, it, was that from the same uh, occurrence, or those were two separate occurrences in your life? No, they was two different times. One when I was, one when I was 15, and one when I was. Uh, 16, you know, one when I was 15 to one when I was 17 after I came home. And where were you shot on each occasion? First time I got shot in my arm. Both the bullets still in there, too. And then the uh, second time I got shot in my leg. So the arm was 14, the leg was 17. No, the arm was 15, the leg was 17. Now, for someone watching this that's never been shot by a gun before, what does that really feel like? That shit burn. You ain't gonna... F <laughs> Depends on where you... Like, what's going on and how you got shot. Like, when I got shot, it was a lot of shit going on, so my adrenaline was brushed. I ain't really start feeling that shit till I got in the hospital. That shit burn. It felt like somebody's stabbing. And that's the same feeling for both times that happened in your life? Yeah, basically. Yeah, because neither one of the bullets went all the way through, so... That shit used to always just be fucking with me. The bullets do remain in your arm, but they were taken out in the leg? No, the one of my legs still in there, too. Oh. They both buy arteries, and they, like, in a tissue. They can't... They're going to have to cut through some of my veins to try to get them out, and that's going to... I'm going to lose all the nerve in my shit, so... The bullet will come out on its own as your arm here. And that'll, uh... That'll happen for the leg as well, too? The bullet will come out? Yeah, hopefully. It's just not, it ain't no time step on it. Our granddaddy died with when his bullet, one of his bullets never came out. And he had that bitch since he was like 20-something. Now, when you had the, um, when you had gotten shot in the arm and you had all that adrenaline going on at the time, did that make things less painful? Uh, not really, shit. Sure. I just always was taught, even before I was shot, don't panic, be calm. So I felt it, but I really didn't feel it because I wasn't like exaggerating over it. I just knew I was shot. I was in shock. Just looking at it, looking at the blood rush out that shit. My cousin got shot with me too, like, and he kind of like, he didn't even get, like, he got shot, but his shit kind of like went through, kind of like a graze or whatnot. But I was still active with a bullet in my arm, you know? And also that burn feeling. Is that a feeling that just uh, stays in that area where you got shot, or is that something that spreads throughout your body? Mm, later on, it will. Like, later on, but right then and there, it's going to be where you got shot at. Like, that little area is going to be hurt. But when that, when that bitch get to going, a couple months pass or a year pass, when it rain, that shit going to fuck with you. In what way? It's, it's, it's just going to be, it's going to hurt. It's going to feel like somebody tightening some ropes. Like, you know how a cramp feels. And your leg or something, just imagine that throbbing pain, just, you know, being in one spot of your arm. That's crazy. And that's when it rains. I've heard so many yeah, gunshot videos. What about when temperatures so get colder? Like, videos, like fall, winter season? I heard people say that, but I never had, I never had, like, no problem with my bullets because of the cold. It just used to always be the rain. And when I used to, when I used to, like, hear, 
here like middle scrap like here middle against my arm and shit. He used to just make my arm feel real numb and cold and shit. Speaking of metal, have you gone through metal detectors with both of these instances of bullets in you? Yeah, for sure. I still do. What happens in an instance when you're going through a metal detector? What happens? So I just tell them like it's a bullet. They can see. Like, it's easy for them to see. I, sh I show them the mark, show them that they in there. That ain't really nothing that they can say, really. And when you were shot on both occasions, do you actually feel the bullet pierce your body at all? Or is it just more so the burning sensation or the burning feel you feel after the bullet's already gone in you? Yeah, that's what I was saying. When you get shot, it depends on where you got shot at and how you got shot. You're not really going to feel it right then and there because how your adrenaline going to be. Like, niggas don't know they shot until they get away from the scene. They stop and get they looking at themselves and they, you know, because I, I didn't know I was shot. I thought I fell in some water. My whole left whole left side of my shirt was got down, just drenched. I, and I looked at it and it was, it was a wound. Were you under the influence of any drugs during either of those occasions? Mm-mm. -mm. Probably weed. And the reason for that question is wondering if that helped with the pain at all, being under the influence of a drug. That's crazy. I think the weed definitely made it make sense because I was high, so I really didn't feel like it, didn't, it It wasn't as painful as, you know, I thought it was going to be once I got in the hospital and all that. Cause once I got in there, they started putting me on meds and shit, so. And do you think it was weed on both occasions or just the first one with the arm? Probably weed on both occasions. I used to always smoke weed. Did you have a near-death experience at all in either of these occasions? Mm-mm. I thought I was going to die when I got shot in my, uh, in my leg, though. Because of how they went in and how they was talking to me and shit. Like, saying it was so close to a, a, one of my nerves and shit. Just so we're on the same page here. A near-death experience as defined by as defined by Oxford languages is an unusual experience taking place on the brink of death and recounted by a person after recovery, typically an out-of-body experience or a vision of a tunnel of light. No, I ain't seen none of that. I was fully functioning the whole time. And uh, do you know the caliber of either of the bullets that... Hey, love y'all, God bless y'all, and yeah, I am from the Sienna News, yeah. I'm a